So, you want to win at go-karting and be the best. I will share with you four easy and quick ways to own the kart track next time you decide to go-karting. Tip number one, when go-karting, don't slide or drift the kart. We've all heard how drifting is slower than gripping through a corner, but this is even more one-sided in a go-kart. The basis of a go-kart is high grip, low weight, and low power. All of these things combined make drifting a pointless endeavor. You enter the turn sideways, the high grip tires slow you extremely fast, and you don't have any power to exit the corner. So avoid drifting at all costs. You may think you look cool for that cute girl while attempting a sweet skid, but you just look like a jackass when you slide to a stop on the track. When you enter a turn, don't be afraid to use the brake to slow the cart. By slowing the cart, you can keep the cart straight and have a lot higher exit speed, a lot more control, and an overall faster driving style. Tip number two, the racing line. It's very important to realize that the fastest way around the track isn't going balls deep, throwing the cart as hard as you can into the turn and seeing if it sticks. Instead, we have to find the fastest path around the track. The ideal racing line can be hard to find sometimes, but being on the right side of the track can mean the difference between winning and watching the other carts from behind. The easiest and fastest way to find the racing line is by following someone if they pass you. Sometimes, this isn't the most available option. So as a quick explanation, the racing line is the line that allows you to turn the least and use the slightest steering input. As a rule, the less you turn the wheel, the faster you can go. When taking a turn, the traditional racing line will commonly be the one where you start on the outside of the turn, get close to the inside at the apex, and exit on the outside of the track. Tip number three, weight transfer. Now this is a tip that's on the advanced side, so it can be a little difficult to apply. However, if you understand the handling causes and effects, you can go much faster while karting. Weight transfer is the transfer of weight and grip around the cart due to inertia. Boring lame science shit I know. However, this is the knowledge that separates the weekend warriors from the pros, so knowing this will definitely give you an edge. The easiest way to visualize weight transfer is by looking at the reaction your cart has to certain inputs. When accelerating in any vehicle, the weight and traction transfers to the rear tires. When decelerating, weight and traction transfers to the front tires. Using this simple information, we can fix common driving mistakes before we even hit the track. If the cart isn't turning, come off the throttle or drag the brake to give you front traction. If the cart's rear tires slide, slow the cart more before entering a turn or apply light throttle to force those rear tires back into the track. Remember the first tip though, sliding is always slower so try to avoid losing rear grip if you are attempting to be the fastest. It takes time and experience to feel and react to weight transfer, however understanding what is happening is the first step when trying to fix the problem. Tip number four, the fun stuff, passing like a pro. If you want to win a kart race, you must know how to pass, how to do it quickly and efficiently. If you know how to pass, you have the ability to win a race even if you don't have the fastest lap time. The most important factor in passing is knowing where and how to pass another cart. When passing, you will usually attempt to pass on the inside of a corner. What this does is force your opponent out of the racing line and give you a shorter distance to travel. If done correctly, a pass should take no longer than the distance of the turn where you do decide to make the pass. When initiating a pass, you can do one of two things. Wedge your bumper to the inside, or play a little bit dirty, and give them a little shove while entering the corner, which gives you the inside racing line. One trick that can help is also pressuring your opponent into making a mistake. An example would be lightly bumping them in a place where you are slightly faster but unable to make the pass. The idea is to force them to pay more attention to you, making it likely for them to make a mistake giving you that position. Overall, racing is an imperfect art where practice makes perfect, meaning the more times you race, the faster you can go and the more successful you will be. However, carts and cars are both at the mercy of laws of physics meaning there are driving techniques to go fast and some that make you go slow. Just as a shameless plug, I have many tutorials on my channel from beginning concepts to advanced techniques to help make you a faster driver no matter what you race. So check out my other videos if you want to find the limit when racing. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to ask in the comments and I will either feature you in a video 
or answer your question directly. See you next time, guys.